My name is Justin Seekers. I'm a civil engineer with a company uh, called Wade Trim. I'm part of the water resources market segment at Wade Trim, and what that means is I typically work on projects that consist of water, wastewater, and stormwater management. Being in H and H specialization, I means that I typically provide technical engineering and analysis for the hydrologic and hydraulic aspects of those projects that I work on. As it relates to my H&H specialization, I means I typically work on developing model representations of sewer and river systems. Uh, by developing these models of these uh, systems, we can identify problematic areas that aren't working as intended and then develop solutions uh, for those problems. We can also model those solutions and predict how well those designs are going to work and alleviate those problems. So for model calibration, what we have here is a representation of a sewer system. We'll actually put in the pipes that are out in the physical world as well as what are called subcatchments and these represent the uh, land surface that's out there. Typically when I start working on a new project, my approach begins with reading the scope of, scope of work for that project. Uh, what the scope of work does is it provides me with a general understanding of what the project is and the type of work we plan to do. Being a civil engineer, not just an H&H &H engineer, uh, provides me with a background to be able to work with civil engineers of many different disciplines. For example, I'll also be working with transportation engineers or structural engineers or geotechnical engineers. I grew up on a farm and I worked construction in the summers, so the idea of being able to work outside part-time was uh, initially really appealing to me. So what I did was I went into civil engineering and as I got into my studies I started to realize there was a lot more to civil engineering and uh, hydrology and hydraulics really piqued my interest. So you know that sort of started changing what I was interested in and then uh, one summer I had an internship with an engineering consulting firm and that was when I knew that I found what I truly wanted to do. My education and my skill set helps me in my job um, day to day because uh, as is true with any profession, you have to be self-motivated, uh, organized, and be able to manage your time well. My degree provided me with a, a basic understanding a solid understanding of the fundamentals of the engineering concepts that I apply every single day. Another benefit to my engineering degree is that it provided me with what I like to call brain training and that it taught me to think uh, abstractly and taught me how to solve problems and that's really what a civil engineering degree or any engineering degree is about is teaching how to solve problems. I also as part of my continuing education receive a lot of formal training um, I get to attend workshops to learn about uh, new engineering concepts as well as new modeling and design software. And it's really exciting to attend these workshops because I'm learning about software that's really on the cutting edge of my profession. For someone who's interested in pursuing a career in civil engineering in high school, you, uh, you should definitely take some calculus and physics if you can as uh, that's going to help you out a lot in college as well as any writing courses because that's also going to help you in not only college but definitely in your career. Because as a civil engineer you're going to be doing a lot of writing. What I like most about my job is the variety of different projects that I work on. Um, on top of the different projects it's always in a different city. I've had the opportunity to work on projects in not only Cincinnati but Detroit, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Pittsburgh and St. Louis just to name a few. I also get to coordinate work with subconsultants and conduct field investigations. The same thing that I enjoy the most about my job is also what provides the most challenges. Uh, working on several different projects in different cities requires you to figure out a way to meet those deadlines um, and then also you have to manage expectations for the people you're working with as well as the people you're working for. What I hope to achieve uh, through my work is to one day be able to say that I helped improve the community and its surrounding environment. And that could be something as simple as replacing a leaky sewer or uh, designing and helping to construct a large underground storage tunnel. Anywhere along that spectrum is completely fine with me, just so long as I know that I've taken advantage of every opportunity possible to get as far along on that spectrum as I could. 
And in the process of doing that, I want to be able to inspire younger engineers to do the same thing so that they can achieve the same fulfillment in their careers that I've had in mind so far.